Hello, my beautiful spirits. How are you today? Welcome to an Aquarius love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's look at Aquarius and see what's going on. I'm so glad you joined me here. Hope everyone's doing well this beginning of the holiday season here in the U.S. So let's look and see what we have for the overall energy. Temperance card, Sagittarius energy. Could be a reconciliation, somebody who wants to come back and you know, make the work, relationship work. Somebody that you haven't spoken to for a while and a new beginning in love. Look at that. Lance romance at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Aquarius. Nice Pisces energy with that, that um, Knight of Cups. All right. So Aquarius, what I'm seeing right now is that the combined energy, your mutual energy in the relationship is that both of you are holding back. I don't really think you're speaking or interacting with each other. It's like you're in a bubble. It looks like you're both kind of alone thinking a lot about each other. The five of coins, Aquarius, feeling really left in the cold. Both of you are feeling a deep and dramatic sense of loss, of not having one another. The five of coins, you know, the answer's right here. We have the key. We have the lock. So this is really much more of a spiritual separation because neither of you are really looking up and seeing the answer. You don't know what the answer is, but you know that you miss each other terribly. It's feeling left in the cold, like quite literally. So what does your person, how do they view the situation as it stands right now? Your person may be very much entrenched in a relationship that is committed to someone else. It is the energy of the Virgo energy of the Ten of Coins. So it may be simply a situation where this person's not available or you're not available. This is all about a happy wife, a happy life, uh, earning your way to a very substantial legacy marriage. But... They view the situation right now as being one in which there is a commitment. And since you're not speaking, I'm thinking it could be to another person. But we're going to clarify because the clarifiers always tell oftentimes a very different story. How do they view you, Aquarius? They view you as a Libra queen, somebody who is very, very much looking for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They see you as someone who wants to lock their heart in a cage and make a head-over-heart decision. Um, Aquarius, they view you as someone who has been hurt, you've been wounded, and uh, you're not going to let anybody in to do more damage, that being the case, and your person feels as though, you know, there's a, a strong sense of loss taking place right now. In their heart space, they have remorse and regret. Remorse and regret, Gemini energy. There is a dove. They wish to heal the relationship, but your person feels as though they've taken actions. But look at this. It looks as though there may have been a situation in which they ghosted you, and now they're really regretting it, wanting to reach out, wanting to talk to you. How do they view the situation going forward? Okay, in and out energy. We have Sagittarius energy. It is all about making love, having fun, doing a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. So it does look like this person, you know, we think of this as player energy. They have remorse and regret. There's a lot of pain here in this relationship, but they certainly want to have a physical connection with you. They're very driven to it, actually. That's how they see it unfolding right now, not in this energy. So it does look like they may might be married or committed elsewhere. Okay, the Hierophant card. The energy that is hidden between the two of you is that you would love to have your stairway to heaven be one another. You would both love to be in this Taurus energy, this Taurus energy that is all about manifesting hearth and home and love and Venus and everything that's good here. The Empress is also Taurus energy. Both of you want to manifest that with one another. Spirit's recommendation or advice is hold back. Don't do anything. Don't take any action right now. And your outcome for this week is Five of Cups, feeling sad, feeling lonely. It is also the sign that there may be an apology in the offing. 
with a new beginning, but we see silence here right now. So this is where the clarifiers come in. Okay, so Spirit, please give us a clarification to this reading. It looks like the two of you are missing each other. I do notice as a professional reader that the holidays, I think, really incredibly impact people in this way. That whoever they're missing, it becomes very poignant and very um, challenging when they don't feel they can be together. Three of Wands, your ship has arrived in the harbor. Ooh, somebody is definitely planning on reaching out. They've already made the decision. Somebody has made the decision to reach out here. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. After silence, there is a small offering. It looks, you know, when we look at the Page of Pentacles, it's like, hi, how are you? What are you up to? You want to have coffee? That kind of offering, very small, but very significant. What's about, the, tell us about the Fool card. A new beginning, a new solid beginning. A powerful new offer in love coming in. Okay, Ace of Coins. Fool card, beautiful. Okay, so what do we have here? You're both feeling very defensive in the recent past at Seven of Wands. That is the energy of, not Sag, Leo, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was having a little bit of a moment. Okay, so we see Leo energy. Both of you feel a really strong sense of pride in which you don't feel as though you should reach out to one another. Now, I'm not going to read reversal, so I'm going to, It's yeah, I'm holding my deck upside down. No wonder. All right. So we do have the temperance card. Now you have it twice, okay? So both of you want to be back together. Both of you are thinking about each other. Both of you are reminiscing, I believe. This is a card of reminiscing. So it does show that there may have been the wish for the two of you. I do think that you want to choose one another. In your heart space, you clearly do. So let's see, why do we have, why does this person want to reconcile now? Eight of Wands, passion, love, communication, excitement, travel, ooh, the heat of the moment, the, you know, keep the fire extinguisher by the bed, my friends, because the two of you are actively manifesting one another. That is your energy. Aquarius, look at this coming out. You are the rock star. They see you as a person that is exquisite, is beautiful. They're manifesting you. You're manifesting them. The sun card, you are one another's happy place. There was a time when you spent maybe a lot of time outdoors together. Uh, could have been in a hotter climate, but we also have the three of swords. So what we're seeing here is that you've been in separation for a long period of time. You were at one time. Uh, one another's happiness, your joy, your pleasure, your rock star in love. This is a very intense relationship. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? Third party situation, devil card that somebody feels stuck. They feel stuck, which is the way I thought this was. It looks like your person, Aquarius, is married to somebody else, okay? They don't feel like they have any alternatives. They don't really feel as though they have the right to even contact you. And that's the that's the issue here with that Five of Pentacles. Tell us about the Ten of Coins. Well, your person does want victory. Your person wants a victory. They want that legacy marriage. They want the, the promise of a long-term commitment. The problem is they want it with you, not the other person that they're with. The Aries King, excuse me, the Emperor is the King of the Kings, and it is Aries energy. Your person's being very strategic, very cagey. They definitely want to close out the cycle that they've been in. They've had what they feel is a successful run, but they want it. They want to move to the next level. How does that affect you? What will they do? The Universe card is the same as the World card in most decks. This person has been very successful in their life, but they want in their life, but they want success with you. We see the Queen of Wands. Okay, so when I get these two cards, I do think that there you might be the third party here. We've had the Three of Swords, we've had the Devil card, we've had the um, the Queen of Wands with the Empress card. So, 
and and we also have the Libra Queen here. So whenever we have two queens in a reading and one of them is a Queen of Wands, it does typically mean that you may have been the lover, the beloved. You might even be a divine partner with them. We get the energy. What's going on here? Yep, we see that your person feels, views you as no longer really invested in them. They feel as though you've given up the ghost on that. They love you very deeply. We have the King of Cups energy. They have remorse and regret over what they did. They feel really sad for having hurt you. They feel as though, once again, we get the Empress energy. It looks as though they went silent on you, silent on you over here, but they want to make an offer. So why did they go silent on you? The death card to end the relationship. They didn't feel like they could have one with you. Yep. The Page of Cups. Their love for you at the beginning of the relationship was very, um, very immature, you know, more like a crush. And it looks as though they weren't really aware of how hard they fell for you. You know, it looks as though since the two of you have been apart, the relationship and the love has actually grown. Why did they want to end the relationship, though, with you? Innocence of Swords. See, we have a lot of immature energy here. Now, the pages can also be children, so they may feel very tied with this Ten of Pentacles to children. They may have felt straight up that they weren't going to leave their family. Again, very sad energy. Your person loves you. Do they want to be with you? Absolutely, yes. It also shows that your person never grew bored with you. The Four of Cups is when they don't think that you would accept their cup of love upright. But in the reverse, they think that you would accept their cup of love. But they weren't honest with you. They weren't forthright with you. They didn't tell you the truth of the situation at some level. It looks as though they were in and out with you, Aquarius. And we get the energy that says that... You know, they really weren't victorious with you, but they did know what they were doing. Your person did not have their head in the clouds, though they fantasize about you. They fantasize about you now. Why do we have the Hierophant card? You both want to be married to each other. That is off the charts. No more player energy, that's what. The clarification is you actually, the two of you want that energy. You want that stability. You want the love, the tradition, the family. So I get no more lying, no more tricky business, no more sneaking around. Both of you want to be a, a public couple together. There you go, Heart of Pentacles. That is the Queen of Pentacles energy. Both of you want to nurture the connection. You want to be grounded for each other. You want to love each other. You want to share gifts. You want to nurture one another. It's, it's excellent, absolutely essential to happiness energy. And when we get the Heart of Pentacles, that's Capricorn willing to do the work. The Four of Coins, Spirit is telling you to hold back. The Hanged Man. The Spirit is saying that this person, Aquarius, has already hurt you. They've, they've really sent shock waves through your life. This is like a cartoon character that is looking at things from a different perspective. But, you know, stars, like a cartoon character who gets like the old punch in the nose. And, you know, we've all watched cartoons. It's like, woo-hoo, woo-hoo, woo-hoo. So Spirit is saying, hold back. This person may not be trustworthy at this time. That You have to be careful. Why else? Chariot card, they're going to come in hard and fast. And why doesn't Spirit want you to say yes? The Ten of Cups, they, they're married to someone else, quite possibly. And that you're so much in love with them. Yep, they're bringing in bachelor energy into the situation but it does show that they're either they've either decided to get single and approach you but spirit is saying we don't really have the answer to that yet that this person has hurt you they do want to come towards you but right now you can't um if they're still married it's going to take a long time to get into this bachelor mode we also see the Ten of Swords reverse. They did, they stabbed you in the back before. They weren't strong for you. They weren't there for you. So Spirit is saying, watch your back. Be careful. Don't just take this person at face value and let them pop back in. So the Five of Cups is you are owed an apology. I get that someone wants to give you one. They haven't yet. 
Let's see what we have here. What else about the Five of Cups? The Three of Coins, I do feel as though you're going to see this person. The Ace of Cups, they love you. You love each other. And the Spirit of Swords, you're be Aquarius, that's your energy. Aquarius, here you are in your reading also. You are the rock star. That is Aquarius energy, and your outcome is Aquarius energy. For the clarifier, it shows that you're very clear-headed, you're very clear-minded, you're not going to settle for anything less than the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And it looks as though, you know, you're kind of reluctant to just jump back into this. You don't want to be in this situation of being hurt. Your person got hurt in the situation, but they brought, they brought a boatload of hurt to you. And so this energy speaks to the fact that they want to collaborate, they want to fix things, they want to offer you this new cup of love. They realize that you may not want to take it, though. They definitely understand that. They And they have respect. If you didn't want to, they would accept it, obviously. Let's see what the Sacred Forest Oracle is going to provide for you for advice. We have Bluebird Spirit Happiness. So focus on your own happiness. The message is here that when love is ready, it manifests in your life. We have toadstools. Okay, so you're in a time of great growth. You are in a time when life is just growing constantly. Transformation, butterfly spirit. So deeply transformative period. You're reinventing your life and generosity. So we're not really seeing that spirit is giving you any indication that you really should counter contradict the main part of the advice in the reading, that you know you should be focused on yourself, that you're going through a tremendous period that's going to be, bring you great happiness. Let's look at the player energy here with the Heart of the Fairy, 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 the Forest, okay, Heart of the Fairy Oracle, all right, tell us about this energy, we get the Green Man, so the person you're interested in, Aquarius, has a very powerful, grounded inner self and inner spirit, they are working on themselves, this is a person who loves very deeply, very organically, so you didn't imagine anything. I mean, if you ever thought this person didn't love you, that's not true. They did love you. But we get, oh, look at this. We get the reversal on the heartless love. So this person took advantage of the situation, took advantage of the fact that the two of you came together in an absolutely profound love relationship. Now, remember, it was reversed. So the beauty of this card is, it's no longer heartless love. So they did love you, but they knew they were going to pull the plug. They kind of knew what they were going to do. Um, they, you know, they're kind of an icy person here. We see like an ice figure walking, and below the surface of the ice, there's a lot of love. But with the heartless love reversed, this person wants to come towards you with a very strong, real love. But again, Spirit is saying, be very cautious, take your time. Let this person earn their way back into your heart. So Aquarius, that's what I have for you. Sending you love from Chicago. Hope to see you soon in another video. Please tell me where you're watching the video from around the world. What city? Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.